Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Ritz and today I'm joined here with Fred. So today we're gonna do a little shopping for Eid. Eid is tomorrow, so I'm fasting at the moment, so I might sound really dehydrated, especially like towards the end of the vlog. So we're gonna go and collect some things for our hospital bag and we're gonna go get some shopping for tomorrow and just in general for our house, so let's go. So we just went to Boots to get a lot of stuff. We've got nappies, there's so many different baby stuff, and apparently, not down ends today, so there's not actually, you'd have to wear masks. So, why are you wearing it then? I don't know. Isn't it's it like, too hot? You're fasting like, as well. It's like COVID just disappeared today. <laughs> That's true. Okay, guys, so we're now done out as the shop. I want you guys to pause and go down to the comments below and comment down below how much you think this shop is gonna be and then I'll tell you guys at the end so pause and comment down below let's see if you're right or let's use the closest okay so we're now home after our shop it's so hot it's like 30 degrees last Eid was like raining so I'm hoping tomorrow is still hot but whether it's hot or rainy it's hot though yeah this isn't a nice hot whether it's hot it's rainy we're gonna complain either way but anyway we're done with our shop now I'm so annoyed with how much we spent so this is our whole shop I told you guys to guess how much you think it is so I'm just gonna show you guys a close up of everything that we have so this is everything that we have a lot of these things are not for us it's for like when we go to anyone's house and eat day we're gonna take it not anyone's I mean family's house <laughs> we don't just go to anyone's house but yeah this is all the shopping don't cheat comment down below how much you think it is so I'm gonna tell you guys now this isn't a flex or anything I'm actually so annoyed at how much we spent yeah no absolutely we never tried to spend this much but you, I, yeah yeah so for <laughs> a person who eats grilled chicken rice cereal bars and Reds who can barely eat three meals. <laughs> I'm surprised that we always end up spending this much so, so we need to change something. So anyway, all of this shopping that you see over here is 108 pounds. So we've got this long receipt over here, 108 pound and 11p for all of this. So if you guys guessed it right, comment down below that you got it right. Otherwise, I hope you guys didn't cheat. And yeah, we're gonna put this away because it's all melting now. Okay guys, so we're now done putting everything away. I'm gonna show you guys what we got from Boots. I am so thirsty. There's less than five hours to go. Red is really tired. There's literally no breeze. It is so, so hot. I really, really want nice cold water. <sighs> I'm so thirsty. I feel like jumping in the shower again, like my third shower of the day. So let's show you guys what we got. The reason why I got it online and I went to collect it is because I didn't know if we're gonna be home or not. I didn't know which day it's gonna come. So yeah, the thirst is really getting to me now. Okay, so let's show you this one first. This is Pampers. I haven't seen Pampers in like at least 10 years probably. So this is- Oh, nappies. Yeah, nappies, you wanna come see it? Okay, so this is the two to five kg one. We didn't know which one's gonna fit him, so we got this one as like a backup one in case he grows very fast. Wait, there's another one, there's another one. Oh, the other one they gave it like this. Okay, so this is the other one. It's like the proper, proper newborn one. Oh my God, Rez, do you get enough? Oh my God, because every video I see of like parents prepping you, they have like, Boxing. Hundreds of nappies, yeah, and like someone said, take 30 nappies to the hospital. That's already this. So, this is newborn, okay? So, we'll pack one of these. I mean, the good thing is, you can easily just run to Asda or anywhere and get these stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, this can just be for like, let's see how long this lasts, anyway. Anyone who has a baby, comment down below. Let us know, like, how long do you think a pack of 24 lasts? I have no idea. So, this is like a backup when he grows a little bit bigger. Um, this is the less than 3 kg. So, right now he is about 1 kg. So, when he's born, he's not going to be more than like maybe 2 kg. So, this is less than 3 kg. When he's less than 3 kg, this will fit him. And that one is 2 to 5 kg. So, when he's a little bit bigger, he can wear those. Oh my god, I can't believe you. Ooh. We have baby milk in the house. Okay, so we still need to do a hospital bag video. So we've got some powdered baby milk. What's this called? Formula? Yeah. Formula. I've never seen this stuff in a house that we've lived in in my life. I've never seen this in the last 10 years. Oh my God. So we've got some pseudo cream, um, some roll on for me and the hospital bag. Um, we've got some ready-made milk what's it called it three in there you put three yeah or the three. Oh. so one for your hospital bag and two for home um, we've got some cotton pads for him and then we got hairbrush for his hospital bag got myself a hairbrush wait is this the one you've got 
I don't know. That's the one you got. No, that's the one I got. I swear that's really? my one. That's my one. <laughs> I like any hair brush, guys. It's not like I don't like combs. You have less hair than me, so shouldn't you be using that? <laughs> okay, I'll take whatever. So we got this toothbrush. Um, I don't know why it's charcoal color. Um, we've got some hairspray for other functions coming up. We've got some nail polish remover. Nothing to do with baby stuff. We've got some. A lot of you guys said don't get baby Johnson stuff because um, it gives like rashes or yeah. cancer. I've Sorry heard or something. So we've got these little baby Avino stuff. We've got some shampoo for the hospital bag, which you guys will see the whole hospital bag video. This is just like bits and pieces. We've got water wipes. We've got like a whole box of them because why did we do that? Because you need wipes. Yeah, so you need wipes and apparently a whole box of them is just worth it. So yeah, that's all we got from Boots. Oh my god, uh, there's so much to do. I know. The baby. I really have no energy today. Oh. Look at Rez. The weather needs to calm down, mate. I don't like this at all. I'm just, look at, uh, this is, I carry this fan <laughs> This needs to go in the hospital bag, but we can't put it until oh. the hot weather calms down. Oh my god. Look at, look guys. You guys can literally see my forehead dripping right now. Okay, yeah, maybe I shouldn't show that, but <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot. Okay, guys, so it's now like 6.30. It's like less than three hours to start time. I'm really, really exhausted. I'm so thirsty. It's been like nearly 30 degrees all day. And our new apartment, our new house, it is so hot, which is really good for uh, winter. Mm -hmm. But in summer, it's been such a problem. We literally leave the windows wide open. But anyway, right now, we're going to prep some baby clothes. So what are we going to do right now? you got the energy, so you talk. So we're going to take all the clothes out that folded away nicely for no reason yeah. and we're going to chuck them all into the wash and um, also all his uh, blankets and everything all together everything's going into the wash because we need to start packing the hospital bag and we can't do that until everything is washed and ready to be used so that's what we're going to be doing now. Yeah, so apparently before they wear the clothes, it's best to wash it. And then what else did you tell me? You can't put it outside for it to dry. Yeah, you're not meant to like leave it out outdoors to dry because like thing like like the whole reason to wash it is because dust and everything goes and sits on it really really easily. So putting it back out to dry is basically gonna attract that again. So you need to dry it in a place where nothing can come and sit on it. Yeah, so, so we're gonna put his clothes in the wash now. So as you guys saw in the last video, the house tour. This is his cupboard. These are the pampers that you guys saw in the oh, box. Wow. Whoa, well, calm down, mate. Okay. What do you think? This is some magic wardrobe. Right, these are like little gifts that we got. The gift clothes. We bought these. Look how tiny this is. Look how tiny this is. This is for him to wear when he's straight out of the room. <laughs> They'll fit Rose. <laughs> it would, didn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, compared to this, like it's much bigger. Like this, this is for when he like becomes. This is like quite like three to six is, months. Yeah, this is for when he becomes like a normal size. Oh my and god. And this is for when he's like just born because he's going to be a tiny baby. We already know that. So we have to be prepared for that stuff. We don't want him sinking uh, into his clothes. I really just so keep all that needs to get forgetting how small he's going to be. These are like a bit more bigger as well, but not too big. Yeah. Um, yeah. He just grab it and chuck it, you know. See what's in his wardrobe. I don't even know what the hell's in his wardrobe. Okay. So these are all his little trousers, little uh, jogging bottoms. Does that need to be washed? Because like, he's going to wear that when he's like six, seven months. Yeah, everything needs to be because we're not going to have time to wash all this individually. Like, okay. because we're washing it now. Also, when we wash his clothes, we actually have to wash it by with a certain um, washing powder. So it's best to yeah, we'll show wash you guys that all together. I'm at, mm, oh, that's really cute. This is so cute, isn't it? It's so cute. Like, I wanna... could, this is what I was talking about. You could match it oh, with this. Oh, wow. Um, that's like that. sick. Um, I swear this is like different happens. age clothes, but okay, but yeah, that yeah. looks, that's a cool outfit, outfit, outfit idea. Yeah. <laughs> By the way guys, I'm going to mumble, my words are going to literally like be joined. I still really love this outfit, I think it's oh so cute. Oh my god, that someone. literally almost matches our Eid outfit, I can actually oh. say that. Because our Eid uh, vlog's already they, out, they, yeah. I think when he's like a bit more bigger. Oh my god, that actually matches our Eid outfit. Eid outfit, if you guys watch the Eid vlog. <laughs> I think this is so cute. <laughs> Which is out right now. These are like bigger clothes for when he's a bit more older. Oh, this pocket always gets me, it's just so cute. <laughs> so small and cute. This, this is by far our best by auntie. Yeah. Okay, so this is all of his clothes. I'm actually really surprised that like, this bucket is like all full. What's it called? This basket. laundry basket. <laughs> he probably has more clothes than me at this point. Wait, we're not done yet. <laughs> oh, we're not done? No, we've got to strip this for um, blanket and everything. Well. Oh, we've got blankets to put in here. So we still have to wash all of his towels, his bed sheets, and what's that? Muslim cloths. 
Oh, what's that called? Swaddling. Swaddling. Oh, these are swaddles. swaddles. These are swaddles. Swaddling. <laughs> okay, so everything's going in the wash today. Everything. Everything. About to bust the washing machine. <laughs> Personally, I think that this is very very extra. This is not extra. This is the standard people people have at least three baskets of these to wash because they go extra I feel like we've got just the minimum. Okay, so standard. comment down below if you guys done this when you had a baby. So while Rez is putting away all the clothes in the washing machine, apparently you're supposed to wash baby clothes with non-bio washing up powder. So it says um, it's good for sensitive skin and apparently it's just good for babies overall. So when he's in this also, we're trying to prep the house for when he comes. So we put the sterilizer in the kitchen so we can wash up his bottles or whatever and then just put it in here. I just put the washing up powder inside of the washing machine the funny thing is before we even moved out in the first place i did not even know how to turn on a washing machine like i never knew how to on a washing machine i didn't know what buttons to press i was always that confused person who never touched the washing machine i didn't want to learn uh, when i lived in my mom's house either because then i'd have to on it so i would always get my sisters or my mom to do it so i never ever knew how to use a washing machine just till like Neither last did year I, by the way i actually <laughs> had to call up my mom to ask her mom and she asked me how to use the washing machine and <laughs> our old washing machine in our other house we used to take like four hours just for a wash and we were so confused but this washing machine is a lot better yep. Okay, so we're going to end the video here, guys. Thank you guys for watching if you made this far. I'm really excited for Eid. By the time this comes out, Eid vlog would already be out. But we're going to talk about what happened at our last ultrasound appointment. We literally go for a scan every two weeks because our baby boy is, like, so small. So he's really... I think they're called birth scans or something like that. Um, yeah. They don't... So usually you wouldn't have that many scans, but because um, our baby is quite small, they have to do, like, scans every two weeks just to see how he's growing um, yeah. on the chart thingy. The size of him is pretty small, which is why Rez's belly isn't literally busting out yeah. the shell yeah. like it normally should be at this stage. But the growth, which you can see on the graph when they show you at the scan, is actually normal. So every time we go to the scan, he's actually growing normally. It's just he's just generally small, but it's nothing to worry about. The last um, time it was actually, the X was literally a little bit lower than the graph line yeah he's growing so, so small yeah but personally me and rez we think i was a very big chubby baby i was nine pounds when i was born which is quite big uh, is that big that's quite big yeah. that's quite big yeah i was nine pounds when i was born and like my mom really struggled to like just breathe when she was pregnant but me and rez have been talking we think that he's gonna be born really small but he's gonna grow really big like really I fast i feel like so yeah me and rez when we were babies like we're, i'm saying it like we were cousins or something but when we were younger <laughs> <laughs> when we were younger, we liked eating like potato and like so many things that we grew like I grew so fast I don't know about you. I was a normal size throughout. I wouldn't say I was a big chubby baby But I wasn't definitely not small or skinny so yeah, I, I loved normal. my chicken with aloo curry I love my chicken with potato curry and like meat with aloo curry. I loved anything I, I still love everything with potato in a curry. It's like so nice So we want to let you guys know that Rez's pregnancy might be a lot shorter than we expected so he m excuse the back <laughs> excuse the background noise so loud but it's just too hot he might be coming earlier than we expected so you might just suddenly just boom like he's here in a vlog suddenly like you might just see him randomly like next month okay not next month but he might be coming a few weeks earlier than we expected because he's a small baby and the doctor said that he could stop growing so, so yeah he... that's why they're monitoring the scans yep. every two weeks so yep. the moment he stops growing they're basically boom boom is gonna come out and yeah he might be coming earlier than expected so you might see baby ritz coming very very earlier than expected i guess watch if you made this far don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i really wish we could take you along on one of our ultrasounds but they just don't let you film in there yeah, for some reason i tried to slightly film some tiktoks and stuff in there really really secretly but they will never let you take this camera anyway thank you guys for watching made this far don't forget to like comment share subscribe i hope you guys enjoyed this like preparing for each kind of vlog and preparing for the baby thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys next time and peace girl i see your face everywhere when i'm going out you'll be there Cause everything reminds me of you i can't take no more girl i think i'm losing my mind try to go to work but i lost track of time Everyone keep looking like you